Morning everyone. Today's gonna be a pretty good day. It's gonna be in the mid 70s and we got a chance of rain today. It's been kind of raining a little bit this morning but for the past two days it's been raining pretty much steady for the last two days and it's gonna be a great thing for us because the grass is gonna finally start greening back up and we're supposed to get two or three more days of rain this week so Hopefully that'll get everything back on track and we won't have this uh, drought that we've been having anymore. So uh, I'm going to do our, or we are going to do our best to cut the lawns that we need to cut today. But I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to work at it. So uh, let's get the trailer loaded up and let's get started.
Okay, this yard and field is done. You have seen this before, but uh, this is what I'm working at by myself right now. But the problem I'm having this whole time I was here is that Chinese restaurant's cooking. So all I can smell is chicken and garlic and garlic cooking. So I am very hungry now. So off to the next yard here. So I got all them small yards done, or not all of them, but a couple small yards done, a field done, and uh, Becky's done running her errands, and she says she's got a special product she wants to put on a video, so uh, let's go see what that is. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vicky's Gardens. I have a little project I want to do this morning. Um, I've been having issues with my rabbits. The rabbits decided that they like to eat my flowers. So we are going to take a bar of soap. Any brand of Irish Spring, it doesn't have to be the name brand, but an off brand works fine. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna take little pieces of it and I'm gonna spread it around my flowers. They don't like the smell and I'm sure they don't like the taste of it. And this also will keep the deer away and it will not hurt the flowers, it won't kill them. It just, it just makes them so that they will flower and stay alive. Okay, so now we got that flower bed done, now we gotta go to the next one. This is my favorite flower bed, except I had a little problem this spring. The rabbits, they chewed all these off and they did not get flowers like these. Aren't those beautiful? So we're gonna put some more of these down here. It's a little kind of, kind of a long, wrong, kind of late, they've already bloomed, but it's just, they might try to eat the green leaves on here. These hostas here, the rabbits never bothered them. Uh, we had a large tree at, at this place here where we got all this new grass seed, but... Since the tree was cut down earlier this year in June, these hostas here have grown really nice. And the rabbits did not get a hold of them. So, but we're going to put some soap down here because they're getting ready to bloom. And we got some over here too, some flowers that are going to open up. So between the rabbits and the drought, they're kind of, kind of, they don't look very good, but we're going to do the best we can do with it for now. This is the newest addition to our flower garden. We just did this one about two months ago. Um, the hostas were all here and I just separated them all and um, they look a little shaggy because between the drought and, and the rabbits, the rabbits have chewed my leaves off again so we're going to put some more soap out here too. So that will take care of me um, putting some soap down in my flower gardens. I hope this will help and uh, in your flower gardens also. I think recording, I think recording. Are must, you recording? I must have pushed a button. Oh well. <clears throat> well hello there everybody. You said Rick, that. You just I said just said that already but you know what? I can say it as many times as I want. So with that little special project of hers done, well, she wanted to get on a video. It's a good, good information to someone will be able to use it. I'm sure they will. But so now we're gonna go out and uh, cut some small yards that are usually all just full of dust every time we cut there. But because it just got ra done raining the past two days, it should be all dry enough for us not to eat dust. It's gonna be so nice not to eat dust. Oh, and I was gonna say too that soap. Um, 
though it also works if you put it on our on trees or um, arborvitae bushes and all that because the deer they like to chew on trees too so if you hang it on a tree that will also keep the deer away from eating your trees out so let's go cut some more yards okay we just finished up our last yard for the day uh, we uh, did pretty good today. There's a couple yards we're not going to do because of this phrase I haven't said in a long time. They are too wet to cut. Oh, it's so nice to say that phrase. And it's nice to have long grass and it's clumpy. Yes. And you gotta you gotta get rid of the clumps. We haven't done that in six, eight weeks. Somewhere's around in there. Or the clippings, you want to call them. Yeah. Yeah, clippings and chunks and clumps or whatever because the wet chunks of grass I guess or clumps of grass and, and they just start showing up today because we have had rain for two days all day Saturday and most of the day yesterday and a little bit this morning so that is why you have not seen a video in two days because uh, it's been raining so it's kind of nice it's real nice so it's uh I don't know that's about all I got because I my train of thought is just gone again Anyhow, so that's going to be the end of our video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you can check out the links in the description box below, we'd greatly appreciate it. Remember to have fun, make money, make a difference in someone's life, and everybody have a great evening, and we will see you at the next yard. Goodbye.